Well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, friends, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to another episode on the Life Signatures Radio. In this episode, we always talk about purpose, productivity, and resilience. And for the most part, we deploy these episodes through series of messages. So we have seasons and so on. And in every season, we have episodes. And right now, you found us in the middle of an episode and in the middle of a series. This series, we're dealing with three ways to deal with your imperfections and limitations. Of course, you need to progress, you need to succeed, but you are limited and you have imperfections. How do you deal with them, even as you are pursuing your objects of the heart's desires? How do you deal with these imperfections and limitations when you need to deploy your purpose, you need to deploy your vision, you need to deploy your purpose, and you need to deploy your calling? How do you do this in the midst of your imperfections and limitations? We started looking at one way that you can be able to do that yesterday. Let us just continue talking about that in this episode. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. In the episode yesterday, we started talking about this by saying that one of the things you need to learn about our imperfections and uh, our limitations is that it will be tough to get started. It it gets really tough to get started. And we we started talking about that yesterday, uh, that it's um, the conditioning that we have are not the limitations, the conditioning that has been brought about by our limitations and our imperfections that conditioning is what messes us up so starting becomes difficult for us because we've been conditioned to think that it's an impossibility we've been conditioned to have this mindset and this stronghold in our spirits and in our minds that it cannot be done and therefore very many things never get started because we think our imperfections and we think our limitations will not allow us to succeed when we don't see success because of our limitations and imperfections we don't get started for the most part we want to start things that we are sure we are certain that it's going to be done it's going to be dusted if there is no surety if there is no certainty to it what what do we do we hold back we don't start so whether you are imperfect or you are limited just realize one thing it will be tough when you're starting it's gonna be tough don't look for the easy way out don't look for things to get finished before you get started i mean things to get aligned i mean remove all the obstacles and remove the limitations and remove all the all the imperfections before you get started it doesn't work that way you will never remove the limitations you will never remove the imperfections within you and around you and externally So realize that it's going to be tough because of the limitations and because of the imperfections. You are not God. You cannot see everything. Therefore, it will be tough. It will be difficult. So that's how you deal with these limitations and imperfections even when you want to succeed in life. Get started. And at the back of your mind, acknowledge the fact that it's going to be difficult. The, The second thing that I want to talk about today, and maybe we're going to talk about it again tomorrow, Realize one thing, that it's going to get worse before it's going to get better. When you're dealing with your imperfections and you're dealing with your limitations on your road to 
pursue whatever it is that you want to pursue you want to deploy your calling you want to deploy your your purpose you want to do the things that bring you joy and, and happiness you want to succeed in this life even as you started realize one thing it's going to get worse at some point it's going to get worse the problem with us is that when things get worse we back off why because we are looking for a place where things are not bad we are looking for a place where things are comfortable a place where things don't have opposition we're looking for a place where it's smooth sailing so when we meet a situation where things have gotten worse than what we anticipated i mean it's not making sense and we need to be careful here because sometimes when things get bad it could be an indication that you're on the wrong path but sometimes things get bad even when you're on the right path and you need to figure that out even when you're on the right path things get bad There's the time jesus christ said god i don't want to go die things have gotten bad if it's possible get me out of this path if it's possible if it's possible i don't want to do it but i want to do your will at the end of the day so sometimes things getting bad and things getting worse cannot necessarily be an indication that you're on the wrong track that you've taken the wrong detour no even on the right path even when you are smack in the middle of god's will things can get tough you need to have that at the back of your mind even when you're dealing with your limitations you're dealing with your imperfections and limitations and imperfections in life in general in the pursuits of our purpose in general in the projects in the teams that we have in the resources that we have or may not have things will get tough we need to acknowledge that it's a mind game acknowledge that beforehand and buckle up get this in your mind and get it settled the moment you make the decision to go against the grain the moment you make the decision to pursue something that's the moment you will experience the discomfort of your life it's not going to be easy this is because you are not conditioned yet you are your body your mind your spirit your emotions whatever else that is the tool that you are directly using to get back and to start going and to continue pursuing your your, your desires this will take a big beating your mind will start rebelling saying hey what in the world are you doing man your body will start saying it's painful we 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 cannot sustain this it's because of the conditioning we talked about the conditioning of the impossibility is still there because you've lived with imperfections and you've lived with limitations a long time so much so that their vibe and their illusions have kind of created a stronghold and kind of become a reality for you listen it is going to get worse before it gets better because of the limitations and the imperfections these limitations and these imperfections enable us to become weak or enable us to become conditioned in a weak mode so when we are starting and when we are pursuing our purpose when we are pursuing the objects of our desires and when we want to succeed it probably will get worse because of these conditionings it probably will get worse because of these limitations and all we need to do if it gets worse or when it gets worse sometimes is to is to stick stick it there keep it there as in keep going there's a song by a guy called Ron Kinoli he says that if you catch hell don't hold it if you're going through hell don't stop you keep going ahead going ahead going ahead and that's the spirit you know why because we are not perfect we are not perfect we are limited and therefore the going ahead 
they keep staying in the game now starts conditioning us starts increasing our capacity starts making us think that wait a minute i i thought i would give up but i'm still here i thought i would die but i'm still here i thought i would be bankrupt but maybe i learned quite a lot being bankrupt than being afraid of being bankrupt i'm glad i went through the bankruptcy now i know what to do next time because the conditioning is increasing even as you're going against the grain even as you're going against the limitations even as you're going against the imperfections tomorrow we continue talking about this until then bye bye Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh clean and inspiring.